Hi there, and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on the confidence interval of proportions in Stata. Now, if you don't know what the confidence interval of a proportion is, the best thing to do is to just jump right into it to show you an example and motivate it that way instead of trying to explain it through a bunch of tedious math. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to enter this code into Stata, the CII proportions command. Let me explain what each element of this code means. The number 100 here is your sample. Uh, the number 25 is the number of successes in that sample. And the word success here has a very special meaning in statistics. It doesn't mean winning and losing. It just means an outcome of interest. So, and then you put the comma and exact, and this, this is really going to replicate the 95% confidence interval. Uh, there are some options that you can do instead of exact, but for the most part, this is, you know, this is what you need to do. So we're going to stick with this. Let's now relate this to something that can be easily understood. Let's say that you surveyed 100 women and you asked them, all of them mothers, and you wanted to know what proportion of these women had low birth weight babies. Uh, now the proportion, the point estimate is 25%, right? But what we're interested in for statistical purposes is the 95% confidence interval. We're working with a small sample here. So we can't really conclude that the real proportion of women with low birth weight babies is actually 25%. What we have to conclude is that that proportion is actually somewhere between 16.9% and 34.6%. There's a there's a 95% likelihood that the, the mean uh, falls somewhere there of the entire population. Now, in order to sort of get this uh, concept a little more easily. I'm going to conduct a couple of other analyses for you that build on this and show you what happens. Now, let's say that you conducted the same survey but with a thousand mothers, and let's say you get the same exact proportion. You have 250 of those mothers having low birth weight babies. Look what happens to your confidence interval. It really narrows out, right? So it goes from the lower bound being like 16.88% to being 22 point something percent. And the upper bound becomes about 28% down from 34. If you go up to 10,000 people in your survey and you keep the same proportion, look at what is happening. Your 95% confidence interval is converging to your actual proportion. So what this basically illustrates is the more people that you have in your sample the better it is that you, you, you're getting closer to a real estimate of whatever it is that you're testing. Now, the example I gave here was just made up with mothers and low birth weight babies, but I have seen a lot of theses where uh, this, this particular system is, is set up for, let's say, a passing a test. Uh, I worked on a thesis in which the client's interest was in determining the proportion of students who had passed a math test. And so if you're looking at data from a classroom and a limited number of students versus data from, let's say, an entire school district or something like that, uh, the more people you get, the more exact you can be in your estimate of what the proportion is. Anyway, I hope this was a useful tutorial for you. Uh, proportional means are actually more common than you might think. Pretty much any time you're, you're studying an event that can have only two outcomes, um, be it passing a test or failing a test, be it flipping heads or flipping tails, be it winning a game or losing a game, anything that has two outcomes that's dichotomous and that has multiple trials can be understood through proportions. And Stata has just such a very simple, elegant uh, command to calculate this 95% confidence interval. It's very useful, not just because it helps you double check uh, doing this kind of stuff manually for a statistics class. It comes up more than you might expect in academic work. I do encourage you to go to 272analytics.com to check out our entire library of statistics tutorials. We have work in R, Stata, SPSS, eViews, and Minitab. It's all free and you're walked through pretty much uh, every important procedure that exists in that software. And I would like to remind you 
that at 272 Analytics, we are consultants. We are data consultants. We can help you run your data, analyze it, interpret it, get read out, and help you understand and refine what you're doing so that your Chapter 4 can improve, so that your Chapter 3 methodology can improve. So please do get in touch with us if you're interested in those kinds of services. Thank you so much and have a great day.